if you think of God as the first great artist, I mean, you know, what a canvas we were brought into. You know, we're brought into this astonishing world of ours with its color and its mountains and its grandeur and its oceans. God as the first great artist, you know, sets the canvas and then we walk on and we humans then do our thing and create history. There's something divine in, in art. I've been involved in humanitarian work for the last 30 years. And in the course of my work, I began to hear reports of one and a half million Iraqis fleeing into Syria. I visited the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Public Information Office in Damascus and saw one of these paintings uh, on the wall. The uh, public information person had taken a special liking for the artwork she began to see. And I said to her, uh, wow, we should bring this to New York. Let's have an art show here. And she said, uh, okay. So that was the beginning of this, uh, this whole journey. I've made about four or five visits now to Damascus and uh, several times visited with the refugees. Basically, they're living in poverty. They live in little one-room apartments. They don't even have enough money for furniture. They don't quite know where the next meal's coming from. They're worried about what's happening to their loved ones with car bombs back in Iraq. They have no idea what the future holds. But rather than redoing one more time the misery of their lives, they are finding a kind of salvation through beauty. As a Christian, I find very much uh, resonance with the Muslim world. I didn't expect that at first because I had been informed by Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and uh, uh, popular culture TV shows that, that always show the Arab world in a negative light. So I got to the Middle East, I fell in love with the Middle East, and I really have taken a, a great liking to the people of the Middle East. It's very easy to slip into these ancient grudges that we've held as one civilization against another. I say enough of that. Let the dead bear the dead. I think we need to hold on to the present and take a fresh look at the Arab and Muslim world. And I think these paintings around us are what I have seen in the Arab and Muslim world. A lot of beauty, a lot of really sophisticated aesthetics, a sense of color, a sense of vitality that comes through in this art. And I wanted to share that with other people. The Arab and Muslim world is very familiar with our culture, but we know next to nothing about their culture. So that's what I'm trying to do with this show, is say, hey, there's another whole part of this Middle East which is not recognized at all in the rhetoric, which we need to see. And in this case, it's some really remarkably beautiful images that uh, we're proud to present here. I sent my news release to all the usual suspects, uh, including the major newspapers of our city, and uh, have not, uh, to my knowledge, seen any of the critics from those papers here. Uh, but we persevere, you know, we're not by the numbers, we're just gonna do this. I feel, a, I feel a calling, I really do. Come one, come all, we have art for sale, and the good news is we are accepting any bid. We want to sell these paintings, so we can do it again. We ask people to come in, put down a bid. Obviously, the more the better. Uh, this money is going to help refugees. So please come in and uh, you too can own a remarkable piece of art for as low as $30.